went to school together, but I didn't really recognize him you know, back then. And it's funny, because I worked at Arby's for a long time in high school, and he came through the drive-thru one day, and I was working with a girl, and um, when after I gave him his food, he pulled away, and I said, who was that? And, and she told me. Of course, that night, I get a Facebook friend request from her. I was like, well, hey. So then she, uh, about a day later, she just sent me a Facebook message and said, hey, so I think we should go out for drinks. I know I was very, very nervous because we were with, you know, it wasn't just the two of us, we were with other people. I honestly couldn't tell you what we talked about. I was excited, but I was nervous because I was like, is this guy gonna think I'm weird for like stalking him kind of, like finding him on Facebook. So I was really nervous, you know, how he was going to perceive me and I knew, you know, that I was interested in, like, is he gonna like me too? Or... I knew who she was, but I didn't know her personally. I'd ask around to people that knew her personally, and people just had nothing but good things to say about her. So I figured I'd give her a chance, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest memory that sticks out in my mind is probably the, the time I proposed to her. I mean, we were at her family's Christmas party, and um, you know, I had the ring and everything. I had talked to her, spoke with her father. Didn't really have it planned out in my head when I was actually going to do the proposal. We have an annual Christmas party at my mom's house every year, and he did it at the Christmas party in front of all of our, our friends and family. Here we go, Greg. <laughs> um, I thought, you know, this would be a great opportunity to do it now because everybody could see it, everybody could be a part of it. So, it, I mean, it, it was literally just spur of the moment. You know, I, I told her mom, I said, Where's the ring? She said, It's upstairs. You know, I had it hidden at her parents. You know what? I'm gonna go do it. I'm just I'm gonna go get the ring. I'm just gonna just take her into the garage, get down on one knee, and just and just do it spontaneously. I was really happy that he did it there because most of our friends and family were there. His mom was there, um, so you know a lot of people got to see it, which was cool. Wasn't like super romantic, nothing you see out of a movie, but you know I didn't need that. I think the things I look for in a woman, yeah, they gotta have a good personality, they gotta be honest. Like, I was attracted to her, I thought she was a beautiful girl. And, you know, just when you get to talking, you, you just realize that she had a really good head on her shoulder. At the time, she was going to college for a degree in medical sonography. So, you know, she, she had goals in life. She had goals that were you know, really important to her, and she kind of had her future mapped out. And, you know, that's a lot of qualities I look for in a person. Well, yes, I think he's very good looking. <laughs> he's really calm, so, and I'm the complete opposite, so he's like really good at calming me down, and he's very protective. That's, I think, you know, one of his biggest traits over me. Like, anyone messes with me, he gets super, like, a little macho and really, really protective. Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas and Mackenzie.
brother's marriage. Yeah! Let's go. I never thought this would happen. I never thought he would be here. I know, he was always too stubborn. You know, I, at some points I thought he was in the closet. You know? I, I, I really thought, I'm sorry, I, I really did. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Maddie, Mackenzie's sister. As most of you know, Kenzie and I didn't get along the best in our younger years. And I constantly found myself asking my mom, when do you think she's going to move out? And then when Kenzie met Nick, all of us and our mom and dad would spend time together and there was no fighting or arguing, just lots of laughter. Nick, he's caring, he's very entertaining, and has a funny personality. He's a good balance for Kenzie. Since they've been dating, she stays up past her 8 o'clock bedtime one <laughs> You can tell they really love one another, and I'm so glad my sister found a great person to make her lifelong best friend because they deserve it. This is on a more serious note for me. I feel like I'm part of your family because we have... Why am I going to cry? Because I spent so much time at your house growing up. Um, and Kenzie, I just love you so much. I'm so drunk right <laughs> now. But thank you. I love you guys, and you're such a great family, and you have so much love, and I just... Um, just that I'm really excited to well, start our life together and build a family, and so happy that I met you. I just want to let her know that um, I'm excited to marry her. Um, you know, we've been together for over three years. And it's hard to believe this, this day has come. I just want to let her know how much she means to me and how much I love her. And 